Disturbance is not currently considered to be a threat to the coastal bend. Local emergency planners see it as an opportunity to practice their storm response plans just to make sure they're ready. And they say it's actually a good reminder that we can all benefit from. Our Rudy Trevino reports. You got to remember, you got you to get water. You got to get a, a sandbags. Juan Espinosa at Sutherland's on Staples says his store has already received word from corporate to stock up on the most basic needs just in case. Right now we have a lot of water. Uh, we got a lot of sandbags, a lot, a lot of plywood, a lot of OSB. And also if you want to make the big expense, we have a lot of generators. Can't forget the batteries or the flashlights, first aid kits, and your prescription medications. These are the easiest of items those of us in the Coastal Bend should always have on hand. A no-brainer. Are you prepared? Is your family prepared? But Alex Garcia, the executive director of the Red Cross of the Coastal Bend, says although it's been two years since Harvey and its effects still around us, some of us may need to be reminded about preparations, especially if you're new to the area. And you're absolutely correct, Rudy. The one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that there's new there's, we have new neighbors, and we ought to be, take ownership to that and share with them how to prepare. Because at the end of the day, we want them to be prepared as well. We don't want to see anybody in harm's way. With that in mind, the folks at the Red Cross are doing as they're asking us to do. Get ready, get prepared, and be informed. We've already notified, uh, reached out to our volunteers to ask them what are they, what's their availability, should we have to deploy people or have people come in the area just to see who can assist us at our time of need. If you'd like to know where to start your preps, go to our website, ktriplitv.com. Rudy Trevino, 3 News.